Hello everyone, welcome to vlog 28 from this tiny tropical garden. It has been absolutely chucking it down most of the week, but thankfully Thursday evening and Friday has been great, so I've managed to get out and do some work. And I started by taking a look at this dwarf fan palm, which is one of the first plants I put in the garden. Some of the older fronds are really starting to look unhealthy, and in hindsight, this is probably from where the plant was grown in a greenhouse. So I'm just going to take to them with some, a pair of secateurs and cut them back as close to the trunk as possible. And the new leaves will have plenty of room to spread out and grow. The Asiatic lilies have bloomed and the orange colour is really intense. They look fantastic coming up through the variegated leaves of the Hebe and next to it is a gazinia and the two complement each other really really well. This was a happy accident as my brother gave me the gazinia and I wasn't really sure where to plant it and it ended up here. So I've been left with a bare patch of soil where that enormous geranium madarensi was but now that it's gone it's time I reseeded. I was really dragging my feet on sowing new grass seed. I was trying to persuade my wife that we might as well just increase the size of the planting area. But she likes to have an area of grass to lay on, so I've gone for this mix called Sunday Best. I'm just broadcast sowing it over some of the consolidated soil, and then I'll lightly tread on the seed just to make sure it has good contact with the soil before I water it in. This should start to germinate and turn green over the next coming weeks. Oh, by the way, thank you so much to everybody who commented leaving recipes for their organic aphid spray. Some of my plants have got really bad infestations now, so I've ordered my neem oil and I'll be making some of your recipes in a coming video. For now though, I'll just spray them off with the hose pipe while I'm watering. It's not normally as aggressive as this, but I'm doing it with one hand as the other's holding the camera. Another task I've decided to tackle this week is deadheading some of my new shrubs. I'm cutting the flowers here off of my Continus cogigria. I also did it on the Sambucus nigra. How many of you managed to get to Abbotsbury Subtropical Gardens Plant Fair? I was there on the Sunday morning and I picked up a few plants. One of the guys selling there kindly gave me a couple of these Solanum lacinatums. Mike, I'm sure you know him from Instagram. This is one in Abbotsbury Subtropical Gardens, the shrub on the left. It shows you how well they'll grow. They have lovely dissected foliage, which gives a really tropical look, and their common name is kangaroo apple. That's because their bright purple flowers will eventually turn into yellow fruit, and all parts of the plant are highly toxic. And the other plant I managed to get, which was actually on my wanted list, was this Hedicium gardnerium. They have amazingly tropical looking flowers in late summer, which apparently have quite a sweet scent. I've put it into the raised bed and it should contrast really well against the dark foliage of the Sambucus. I made the decision to remove the Insetti banana from the raised bed and I've put it in the far end of the garden right by the stream. I just felt it was absolutely shrouding everything else in the bed and as I don't have a lot of space, I'm glad I made the decision. It's opened up the raised bed on the left so much more which gives me more planting space. It's a win-win situation. And I also got a hosta from Abbotsbury's Plant Fair. This cultivar is called Big Daddy and has got these lovely teal blue leaves. Despite its name, it's not one of the biggest hostas you can get. But remember, mine's only a tiny tropical garden. Our Indigo Buzz Budlia is budding up lovely and this plant will be great for pulling insects into the garden. As will the succulents, which are finally starting to open their blooms. Some of them are understated and others are really, really colorful. And those Lampranthus cuttings that we put into the garden a few weeks back are blooming and the colors are amazing. They work really well to fill in the gap between the patio and the pot that hides our washing line. The insects are all over the magenta blooms of the creeping thyme. And at the moment, I'm finding it really enjoyable to come home after work 
and sit on the back doorstep and just watch the bees enjoying all of the blooms that are opening up. And this week the bees are particularly fond of the delicate bellflowers of our heucheras, or heucheras, I don't mind how you pronounce it. And while the bees are happy with the heucheras, heucheras? Whatever. I'm happy with how the edging plants on the path are starting to look. It's lined with grasses and the wafty flowers of Alcamilla molles, and it's really starting to fill out and look nice and tropical. So after another mixed week of sunshine and rain, but mostly rain, the garden is coming along well. And as always, if you've got any questions or tips, please leave them below. And thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe. See you next week.